No. However, if he did, you never know. Uh, just like TK, I'm undefeated in a Call of Duty World War II lands. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> Error Attorney versus Echo Fox. In the game two, Echo Fox grind out that hard point and take the map victory. Now in search and destroy. It looks like they're going to flood bottom middle off the break. This is what I like to see. Fast paced SMGs. We've got snipers hanging back. A little bit of everything. 90 seconds on that clock. Assault holding angles. And there, there's the first spot. There's the knowledge. There's the intel. And that'll be communicated through the squad. And now with 60 seconds, we do see the bomb going down from Bevels. I'm actually really surprised they're going to be able to be planted. Not enough of a challenge. No smokes, nothing. They just get the bomb down. Aqua with the first kill. Oh. Nice snipe from Pharaoh. Oh, I thought he was going to have a chance on that player crossing. But he will call it out to decimate. That's Woo. Okay. All right. I mean, the need was initially for the player back. However, a uh, bit of time in there. And yes, the call out may have come in. But I believe he's got Duelist on too. Rocking the Akimbo pistols as well. Taking a page out of uh, Clayster's book. Love how as the year goes on and as the events pass by, we see these these new strategies implemented. Yeah. Like one player pulls it out. It's like, oh, I, yeah, okay. That makes I like sense. that. Let me try it. That makes sense. Clayster, nope. though, has said that the one time he really did use it, he used it a couple times, but if our cities, I think he dropped like 47 kills, <laughs> made it possible for United to win that map. First time really seeing it, though, in Search and Destroy is, wow, what a challenge from Pharaoh. Can you tell this guy likes to play SD? Just a little bit. <laughs> it's a nice shot from Vicento through the wall to even the round back out. 3v3, 60 seconds. And the bomb in the hands of Aqua. Sniper is in the hands of Vicento. I'd love to stay on board and just see if he can pick anyone off. Of course, with that x-ray vision, you can see a little bit more than the players, of course. One player roaming around top middle. All three players, Ricky Bevels and Decimate, sticking together on the attack. See the bar come into play? And again, that's going to be spotted. Asento letting off one round. 35 seconds left. Going to be up to Echo Fox to plant. No one on that back flat. Of course, he doesn't know it. There's the first, I think, bar I've seen today. It's brought out by Aqua in our final series. Vicento's only watch this one lane. I don't think he's given any attention towards his right. And look at the minimap. Two players are now pushes. He has no idea. He should finally hear someone. Look, listen how loud Bevels is. I think he's heard him, but he doesn't know whereabouts he is. Right? This is the real test. Pistol in hand. Isn't going to be able to connect. Ricky, I think, picked up the kill long range. And Aqua now rotating around after the bomb plant finds himself in a very powerful position. Almost the captain of the ship right there, raining down fire on the last two players. Look at this. The only person I've seen use a bar, and he gets the two-piece with it there. Nice job by him to reposition to the correct spot, Momo. He gets the call. There's at least one at the back plat. They expect him to be together. So what does he do? He goes the best position he can put himself in to challenge two players towards that back ship, and he cleans up both to put his team on the board. Picks up three that round, I believe. And uh, can, we, can we swap to him for a moment, Paradox, to see exactly where Aqua stands with his uh, streaks? So, yeah, he's 175 away. The three kills uh, plus the plant helped him out there. However, he's starting aggressive, and he's going to see Ricky tag him up. He's not going to finish, but Pharaoh, very much like the previous round. A sniper coming in. Very, very strong. You've got to remember, put a, a weapon with a one-shot kill in a pro player's up. hands. Oh, okay. Good night, Saints. Does he spot Vicento on the left? Oh, this nade might be right at Vicento's feet. There it is. Pharaoh getting it all done. Six and one. Three kills this round. Can he find the ace? That's the question. Not that it's needed. But it would help towards those streaks, of course. Assault is just lingering towards the right-hand side. But he's rotating through the middle, and now with a bomb down, pretty much near impossible. And he's looking for a couple of kills. Going to find Ricky. That's one. 30 seconds left. Can he find the second? As Pharaoh just slowing down, waiting for the rotation. What's the game plan for Assault? Just take the time and maybe... Oh, <laughs> An ace from Pharaoh with the duelist pistols. Let's see it again. As he right there, look at this. Steady aim on him as well. Just melts assault here. One, two, three. Just a few extra, just in case. Yeah. Nice ace coming in there. All four players down and out from Pharaoh. I really, I actually love that setup, right? Because now we saw where the sniper was still kind of used and abused was with how fast they kind of scope on in now with the adjustments made to the car 98 you want to be able to have that 
up close presence. And yep. what's the best thing you can get? The, the akimbo pistols with the steady aim on it, and you, you just spray and pray. I, I, I love this class head. I think we're going to see this brought out more this weekend. Or this week. I think we're going to see more throughout the stage in general. And Pero going for a little bit of a different route this time. Of course, we'll drop down. He's seen the smoke come out of B, and the callouts will be coming in very, very quickly. However, Facento is the one with the bomb in hand, and he's nowhere near the B bomb site. Maybe a bit of a distraction play there coming in from Echo Fox. Oh, they're, they're, they're not ready for this at all. Pero is ready to rock and roll with the duelist in hand and now pushing forward 3v3. The bomb all around A, and that has definitely been found out. Pero, he's still going, man. Five kill streak. He's going to find another as well up here. Assault battling back in two, but it would be a big play for Pharaoh. He's going to get tanked. The call out to his Saw mate. He knows where at least one is. But now so weak, so little time. Pharaoh now tagged up. He just can't finish one of these kills. <laughs> Like cat and mouse right now, and Assault finds one. 13 seconds left on the clock. What does he choose to do? He's got the bomb in hand. Does he go for the plan? If so, he needs to act now. We've seen uh, Bevel. Oh, no. He begins to shoot and gives away his position. Assault should be able to get the spot planted. He continues <laughs> to spray. This will be a plant. And now he has the power position behind the bomb. Oh, gosh. He, he can see a shadow. This should be a... When he jumped out, that was the open there. No cover. That, that wow. Was, that, was, that was just a straight-up choke. That was just a straight-up panic choke play from Bevels right there. No other way to put it. Bevels is a great search and destroy player, but I'm sorry. That was that was just a, a poor, poorly played 1v1 right there. I will say the movement, very, very strong to win that round, pushing at the right time. And no, should he have won it? Absolutely not. Non-2v1 like that. But a little bit of lady look on his side enables the plant and gives him the power. Flipping things on its head, though. 2-2, two, two, bomb in the hand, Bevels. Currently sitting at one and three, but it's all about Pharaoh. Eight and two right now. Can Assault shut them down? We're four rounds in. Imagine if this goes all the distance and he can keep this up. I think he spotted Facento. Doesn't challenge the first one. Oh, he knows he's on that top block. <laughs> no jump shot there. Facento has been spotted. And again, the duel is coming out. And we are seeing time and time again, Era just, you know, take their time, try and figure out, play for picks. But they do push on to both bomb sites, the very first. Oh, no. oh, oh, no, that's <laughs> not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work, you silly goose. As Vicento just gets the easiest shot of his life right there. Can he oh, a come on! Straight into the face of Bevels. Diving headfirst into that bullet. And this round, you could almost count out, as we are going to see Ricky left in a 1v4, but... Again, you know, this map, it just, you know, proves once more that the versatility, you could be rocking duelist pistols, snipers, SMGs, it all works as long as you have the right setup. Assault finding that final player. Where's the smokes? Where, where, where's the tacticals? Had, it, the, the, right there, they have bomb crosses watched. You need to smoke off bombs. Don't give them a chance to, to spot and see if you're at least going for a plant. Echo Fox had full peace of mind of exactly what was going on that entire yeah. round. They had bottom ship covered. They had a player watching the A cross, a player watching the B cross. And for as long as there's not a smoke, Echo Fox do not need to move. And as well, we saw the smokes in previous rounds, both at B and A, both this as a distraction and also a tactic to push on. And look at this. The lower side play from Facento. Not going to connect with the FG42, but the intel has been made. How has Pharaoh gotten here? I don't know, but he's going to do some damage. First One. victim for Sento. Saints in the top window. Aqua turns around, helps with the kill. Bevel's one shot, trying to play his life. I think they've got a challenge. They, they, yeah, they know they need to challenge him as soon as possible. Players sprinting on down. One versus one. Decimate versus Aqua. Talk about a game-changing 1v1 right here, Momo. Decimate does spot Aqua. This should be an easy kill. There it is. Era, tie the game back up. Again, a little bit of a lady look there as he jumps up. He's got to put that weapon on his back for a second. Luckily for him, Aqua was looking the other way. Clean shots there from Decimate and another important and vital round there for the squad. Keeping things close. When this era attorney team was formed, I was seeing people say it would be a, a terrible blunder for them to ever lose a search and destroy. With, with the talent on this team, if, I mean, if you don't know, Pharaoh, Bevels, Decimate all get their start as search and destroy superstars and Ricky, had one of the top yep. SND KDs multiple times in the in the leagues uh, a couple of years ago in the CWL. 
These guys are all fantastic in this game mode. Echo Fox keeping it close. I mean, you asked, you know, if I played any of these, and a lot of these players kind of were, were after my time, but Ricky, he was right there, you know, seven, eight years ago, and he was an S&D star right alongside the rest of his squad back then. And again, he's probably, you know, that veteran leader that, you know, kind of will keep them calm at this 3-3 stage and coordinate the play. Sento has used this box many times to his advantage. A nade comes in and, whoo, Farrow, who was one shot, does stay alive. And there he melts Saints. And I thought he had a chance to, to gun Assault right there with the sniper, but it doesn't work out. Assault connects with the glide and also with the gun in hand and puts his team in a 3v2. And he's just spotted once more. One over at the B site. We get an action going down elsewhere. Where his gunfire goes down between Ricky and Assault. But again, the sniper in hand will find him, will connect. And just like that, Ricky left in a 1v3, 15 seconds. Almost no hope, no prayer for this round. He will be looking to just stay alive and not feed the enemy. That is going to be it. As he just uh, bides his time and runs that clock to zero. Go Fox. Four to three. Again, another game where both these teams are grinding it out, keeping it close. Just like the hard point, there's going to be a couple moments that really swing the map. One of them on the hard point was that outside Cave Hill when Aqua got the 20 seconds of scrap time and they rotated towards Ruins and held it all down. I mean, you've got a Saints at 0-6, Saints at 0 and, 6, and Echo Fox are still in the lead. If he literally does anything, then they should win this map. You do still have a fighter pilot on the side of Echo Fox as Can well. Can we swap through Error Eternity? How many do they all have mountain on? We have one mountain, two mountain. Okay, so two players do, two players don't. So even if they don't get any kills, they'll at least get some information. Oh yeah, for sure. The intel will be there with the fighter pilot. The question is, when do they use it? If so they can get the bomb down and use it, completely different story. What I'm wondering is if they use it to plant the bomb. Do they call it in, force the player who's watching over A to fall back and then go for a quick plant? Smoke's now coming out. Aqua with first blood on the Pharaoh. Pharaoh who's been the MVP so far of this map for Error Eternity, eliminated right away, Assault with a second as well. Ricky answers back onto one. Saints still sitting at the top of the ship there. Not needing Assault to be there. Yeah, yeah, no yeah he's watching be. his bottom. Shot from behind, and now Saints, you can almost see a little bit of panic, but he's pushing forward, still being very, very confident in his player, 2v2 as it stands. As Aqua does start to push up onto that bomb site, and now Saints just giving him the protection that he needs. I believe the bomb is going down, and... 45 seconds left on the clock. We're now looking at Ricky and Decimate. Can they come back? Saints, will he connect? No, the 0 and 7 coming in. Is Aqua able to clutch up? That basically sums up this map so far. Aqua by himself. Decimate with another error. Will win the round in what seemed like an unwinnable 2v4 scenario. They clutch it on up. Well done by them. And again, hesitation from Echo Fox right there, Mo. Yeah. You saw Assault push up on A. Saints was still, like, watching the flank. You had one player in top window trying to watch it. They just need to get the bomb planted. Yeah, I think they need to do... They, they have the right idea. They just need to implement it a little bit quicker. Yeah. I think as well, Saints, and, and you can say this about any play, you're sitting 0 and 7. Yes, you're going to be like, hang on a second, what's going on? And I think he was almost just kind of trying to get an easy kill, maybe st sat at the top of the stairs. Doesn't work out for him. Has to push out and, again, gets unlucky. Obviously, there he was trying to watch both top window pushes, right? It yeah. makes sense, but he saw how awkward it was. When D Decimate turned the corner, he like went to stand up. Then it made his aim go too high. A little bit all over the place. Now that's it. Oh, straight away, the headshot comes in. He's going to find his first kill from the grave, though. But instead of having Mountain Hunker, he has Mountain Duelist. So they've been using that, t that information to their advantage. They've been throwing extra nades towards there. Typically, he should live. He should live right there, but instead he doesn't. Five first bloods for Pharaoh, 11 and 7. This game, it's now a 3v3. This is going to be up to Error to plant this bomb. And Error have been very, spot very the confident cross. at going to be, but you're right. The spot has been made, and Assault now has a lot of intel. He has a good position as well. Now Facento starting to push forward. And here's the grenade. The bomb planted a little bit too late there for Facento. Tags come in. Diving back. The side. Can he find Ricky? Whoa. Doesn't hit. Whiffs the second as well. But it's Ricky all by himself, one versus three. Facento holding the right angle. Saints has spotted him as well. And now Assault there. Yeah, that's not winnable. Echo Fox up five to four with Saints now on the board. And they will see Assault now having the fighter pilot, which they probably knew he had it earlier on, I, I guess, but either way. And this is really big for Echo Fox again. 
the search and destroy, you know, is very vital. They they win yes. this, they're tuning up in the series. However, you know, they they let this slip to error. They get momentum. They get kind of uh, a complete change in mood, complete change in how they play, if you like, going into that CTF. But Echo Fox are looking to change and end it right here. And Saints picking up his first kill of uh, of the game there in round number nine. Bevels, not much better. One and eight. Both players, uh, both teams have that player just slacking behind. But the reason why it's so close here, Ferro once again, the sixth first blood of the game. Jesus, man, what a stat line to have. 12 and seven from him, 12 and five from Assault. And not only was that first blood, that, that was bombed down. So they will know exactly where he is. And they also just heard Aqua break his leg. So he, he, they know he has some sort of bottom middle presence. Taking his time here with the pre-aim. Does have that infantry maybe he's for... Dead. Oh, and he's going to peek out. Not check the corner and decimate. The aggressive play plays off. And Saints is going to answer back with another. He's only got two kills, but they've been two important ones. And he could be the vital key to end this game. Assault and Saints up against Pharaoh, Ricky, and Bevels. Ricky just continuing to spot from B. Look at this. Bevels has the cross. They have both bomb crosses. Oh, my God. A team kill. Uh -oh. They body stack. Uh -oh. He's going to get cleaned up, too. Era throwing this round away as it's Ricky left all by himself. And Saints, ironically, he's on a three-kill streak now, which has really just changed the game and maybe finished it with 16 seconds. Assault pushing out. Has been spotted. But the bomb is in the hands of Assault. He's behind there. He's surely going to be getting that He doesn't know he's one. close. Saints looking to end it. Needs to maybe reload. Ten bullets in the chamber. Fifteen in the pistol, though. Will be able to finish it up just like that. And Echo Fox clutch up and a four-kill streak at the end for Saints. He can forget that map and be proud of what he uh, what he accomplished there. Era Eternity on day one now. 0-5 oh, in maps so far. You see the visible frustration there, and it's as they should be. Oh, yeah. In what seemed like a round that there is no business for Echo Fox to win. It gets thrown away, and Momo, I talked about it. You can kind of see some key moments.